that's what I do first. I start in the back of the car. And on the 2019 Q7, this, uh, this model is a premium plus. So what you'll be able to do is use your foot to open and close the tailgate as long as there's no towing package. Just put your foot under the bumper and take it away as long as you have the key on you. <coughs> tailgate opens up. Up top here you have a button to close it. You can also use your foot to close it. The Q7 is also unique because it has a third row compared to any of the other Audi models. The third row is always power and has two buttons in the back here for each of these seats to raise them and lower them. There's also buttons in the doors, which I will show you. <clears throat> now because of the third row in the Q7, there is not a spare tire, but underneath of this panel here, you have your subwoofer and there is a electronic pump and a um, tire sealant as well. Moving along to the front of the car, or I should say the rear of the car, this car has keyless entry, so as long as you put your hand in the inside of the door handle, it unlocks the door. If you touch the divot on the outside, it locks the vehicle. Once we come back here, this specific vehicle in the Q7, all three of your seats, you can slide forward and back separately. There's a handle underneath here that you can release. There's also a handle here, <clears throat> which allows you to fold the seat down or recline it. If you do fold the seat down, <clears throat> There's another handle here. You pull up on this handle, and that would be how you access the rear seat. In the back here, there is also two more buttons. Same thing on the other side for the third row, so it makes it easy to get the third row up and down so you're not reaching across the car to get to it. Put these seats back up here. See in the Q70, you have a nice big panoramic sunroof. This one has the warm weather package. What that means is that your climate control in the back is actually two zone for each side for the rear seats. There's also heated seat buttons underneath there and you have two 12 volt outlets in the back as well. Additionally, the rear windows have shades that you can pull up. Same thing with the tailgate, there's a shade back there as well. Now we'll go into the front of the vehicle. <clears throat> you have your window controls, child door lock, lock buttons here mirror adjustment for your left and right left mirror right mirror this icon is for heating on the bottom right this one if you're in the car and into running will fold your mirrors up there's a tailgate release here which you can actually hold this if it's open and it will close the tailgate there's memory seats and mirrors and steering wheel buttons here because the steering wheel in the q7 is power so once you have adjust everything adjusted you hit set and then one or two that will save your mirrors again, like I said, seats and steering wheel. You can save two settings per each key. In the inside of the mirror, there's a little black box there. That's your blind spot, and that'll light up. <clears throat> now on the inside of the car, we have the headlight knob here, which is currently set to auto. You have front and rear fog lights. If I start this car up, this vehicle. Bottom left stock here is your cruise control, which is also adaptive. So you hit the button on the end here to set. You move this up and down to change your speeds. You have a little tab here to change your distances as well. Steering wheel does have paddle shifters on each side. Right stock here is your wipers. First setting up is automatic. The button on the end controls the, re the rear wiper. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, you have a phone button to answer or hang up a phone call. A voice button to begin the voice activated features in the vehicle. Nav button repeats your previous navigation instruction, and the heated steering wheel button turns on and off the heated steering wheel. This is a volume control. <clears throat> if you click it in, it mutes the volume. You also have left and right to skip tracks or to change radio stations. The view button here is easy, makes the gauges bigger and smaller. Left and right arrows navigate you between the screens at the top. One's for vehicle information, one's for radio and media, one is for your phone, and one's for your map. Scroll wheel here allows you to scroll up and down through menus and see different types of information as well. There's a back button on here in addition to that. You have your start stop button in the corner there. The 0.0, .0 button resets your trip miles. In the center console here, you have a wireless charger if your phone's able to do wireless charging. There's also two USB ports and auxiliary port. This armrest is adjustable, it will lock in place. And you can also pull out each side of the armrest to adjust it that way as well. 
This little spot here is where you put the key to start the car if the key battery is dead. You have a volume and power knob here for the MMI. Parking brake, you pull it up to engage it. You put your foot on the brake and push down to disengage it. Your transmission, your shift locks on the left, you hold the button, pull it towards you for drive, you push it forward for reverse. If you're in drive and you pull it towards you again, it puts the car in sport transmission mode. If you move this to the right, it puts it into manual mode. If you press the P button here, it puts the vehicle in park. MMI controls are here. Only MMI controls. These silver buttons represent the screens that you will access the most. So one's for radio. Radio is super easy. You use the scroll wheel here. Allows you to scroll up and down, and then you can push down on that wheel to select your channel. In addition to that, if you need to access, say, FM or AM radio or your presets, or maybe options related to the radio, the left button here brings up a menu, and the right button down here brings up your options. You can also slide this wheel without turning it to the left or to the right to achieve that. You go to the left, you have your FM and AM options. You can go to your preset screen where you can store up to 50 presets. And then you have your radio options here. Now if you go down in the media, you press this down for media. This is where you can do CDs, DVDs, Bluetooth music, and USB music as well. The way you change the source is you slide the wheel here to the left. And then you can select your source. So you can select Bluetooth and the vehicle will walk you through connect your, to connecting your phone. Basically what you do is you hit connect audio player, click on next, it will search for your phone. Once it finds your phone, you select it. The car will ask you if the pin on your phone and the pin on the and the car match. Once you hit yes, the your phone will ask you if you want to allow certain things to transfer over to the vehicle. As long as you click on yes, then you'll be all set up and you'll be good to go. You can make phone calls and you can also listen to your music. Now when you're using the Bluetooth music function, you do have to start the music on your phone. So you have to open whatever app you want to use and then start playing music. It'll play through the speakers. <clears throat> now the media volume would be adjusted down here. <laughs> Moving along to the phone screen, if you press this button down here, brings up your phone screen, you can connect to your mobile device. This will show you your contacts if you transfer your contacts over. It'll also show your previous calls. And if you push up on this map button, brings up your map on the map here, you can zoom in and out. If you press that button again, you are able to put in destinations. All you have to do is type in this little search box here. There's three ways to do that. One is just to press the voice button without even being here, and you can say, take me to 4725 Hamilton Boulevard, Allentown, PA, and it will give you options that correspond to that. And then, in addition to that, you can write on this touchpad here, one le uh, letter or number at a time, so we do four. Seven. You can backspace with the swipe to the left, space with the swipe to the right. So we'll back out of this. The other way is to click on this wheel, and now you have a keyboard here. You can also save a home, save a home address, and all your previous destinations will be saved underneath here as well. Additionally, there's a few other things you can access. If you press the menu function here, you can go to your vehicle settings, and this will bring up your drive select screen. You slide this wheel over. Now you also have your vehicle settings, driver's assistance settings. Vehicle settings, by the way, include your exterior and interior lighting. It also includes your central locking, which is all the functions uh, that relate to locking and unlocking the vehicle. And you have your garage door opener in here. Driver's assistance includes your parking sensors, blind spot, pre-sense. And service and checks would include your oil level and allow you to reset your tire pressure. Also from the menu, you have access to sound. Then again, radio, media, phone, navigation, map. Audi Connect, which has a six month free trial. If you go into here, then it will load news, weather, flight information, gas prices, it's pretty cool. Audi smartphone interface, once you plug your phone in, this will either become Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which the car will help you set that up. And then you have an interface on the screen here that you use from this control to use the apps on your phone. And then settings is just general settings, super easy. Down here you have your climate control, and this car has both heated and ventilated seats, so the top buttons for heating, bottom buttons for ventilation. Same thing on the other side. You have two temp uh, temperature adjustments here. You have front defrost, rear defrost, recirculation. If you click on this button, it does the auto fan speed. Otherwise, you can adjust your fan speed on each side with these outer two silver buttons. Airflow direction. 
and then whether you want to synchronize the system or not. And then you have your AC adjustments here, and there is an off button. Here, I will cover now the drive select. Drive select is cool in this car because this car does have the air suspension. So you can go into lift and off-road mode, which will lift the car all the way up. It turns off the sensors. All-road mode does something similar, just doesn't lift the car up quite as high. Comfort mode has the car somewhat lifted up. Softens the suspension, softens your steering, makes it a more comfortable ride. Auto is kind of a normal mode, and then dynamic is a sport mode, so it lowers the car. Makes the steering stiffer, puts the transmission in sport mode, makes it very sporty drive. The individual, if you slide this over to the right here, brings up your options where you can adjust multiple settings separately, including your adaptive cruise control. Down the line here, this button turns off the temporary shutoff when you come to a stop. You just have to do that every time you start the car. This button turns off your traction control. This button is your hazard lights. This starts the park steering assist function in the vehicle. This brings up your backup camera and parking sensors, which the tailgate's open right now, but you do have a backup camera, forward-facing cameras, and a top view camera in this car. This is a hill descent assistant, so it helps you go slow down a very steep hill. This button turns off the main screen, turns it back on. Coming up here, you have your reading lights in the top. The big switch here is for your glass or your roof. You can ventilate it, or you can slide it back and forth. Smaller button is for the shade. You have a button here to turn all the lights in the vehicle on. The black circles are microphones, so don't press on those. The emergency call function, you open this up, and you press the red button there. Connects you to an emergency call center. Garage door opener buttons are also up here. And then there's a button to uh, toggle whether you want the interior lights to come on when you open the doors or not, and a button down below to contact Audi roadside assistance. And that is an overview of all of the functionality of the 2019 Audi Q7. It, this is a very nice car to drive. It's very big, very spacious, and I hope you enjoy it.